the morning viewers. Here we are outside the hot air balloon. That's right, we're going up a hot air balloon. <laughs> and we should be able to see over the Valley of the Kings. It's a bit of a concern though, because of course the hot air balloon is a French invention. So, danger. This is the bit where I should do like the history. <laughs> You think I'm joking? So Jack and Joseph <laughs> uh, Montgolfier were Frenchmen who in 1783 um, did the first unmanned hot air balloon, uh, which was a 10 minute journey for a sheep, a duck and a rooster. And they came down safely. So a month later they sent up a person. Um, so yeah. What's the burning temperature? Well, the melting point, I was telling Amy, the, 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 the maximum temperature of the air inside is usually about 120 degrees Celsius. But the nylon itself has a melting point of 230 degrees, so there's a lot of margin. Although balloons are very safe, there was a very fatal accident here in Luxor in 2013. that killed 19 out of 22 people on board because there was a fire that started. Anyway, I might do a bit less talking today and not bore you with the facts and the history and just let the views do the talking. <laughs> We've been told there are three types of landing, haven't we? Oh, yawn. <laughs> it's fine, you can yawn. It's early. You have to get up at four for this. But um, yeah, he said there are three types of landing. He said there's the soft landing, there's a skid landing, and there's a bouncing landing where we bounce usually about three times. I just said to Amy, bouncing landing sounds a lot like crash landing. <laughs> does not sound like <laughs> Dancing landing doesn't sound like the one we want. Update. It's too windy, supposedly. So, no movement yet. They've released a few balloons, but and they have flown like literally straight up in the air, haven't they? Um, they haven't been blown off course, so it's a bit weird. There's not a lot of wind, there's a little bit. The trees aren't even moving. Yeah, the trees aren't moving at all. I'm not sure if they're going to get up today. Yeah, they say the cutoff is 9 at 7, mm -hmm. and it's 5.30. Yeah. In the meantime, let me show you a clip from yesterday. Again, this just goes to show why you stay in somewhere that's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Not all the time, but you know, definitely worth, definitely worth the £10 a night stay. We got to hang out with a local family and he ended up on a uh, donkey. Donkey walk. So yeah, and you're putting money in the hands of people who are just normal people as well, so it's a win all around really. So yeah, let me show you some of that. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> now I wouldn't be doing this if I thought for a second this donkey was mistreated, but he seems very well fed. Although unimpressed with the children around him and the general uh, shenanigans. And this just goes to show as well what happens when you spend £10 a night on a hotel. You don't get this treatment at the Ritz. <laughs> so I'll show you our actual um, homestay, our hotel room. Um, it's above an Egyptian household and it was only £10 a night this. Um, it just goes to show uh, the value for money you can get. So yeah, I've got a dining room. There are other rooms here as well. Look how well fed we get in the morning. Breakfast included. Oh, I don't know if it's included. Is it not? <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, <laughs> nice, isn't it? That was insane. That was so cool. It was it, just at, it was deadly quiet. Suddenly there was a cheer, and all the engines started exactly at the same time.
How are you finding it? Good. Fun. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's silent. Absolutely. It's silent. really Maybe not so silent. Yeah. Today you can see the all the various different um, tombs within the valley of the kings down there. You can just about see uh, Tutankhamun's tomb just coming over the hill now. When did you get so cute with your hat? <laughs> <laughs> it's too sunny now. Look at that one over there. Yeah, they've gone a bit off course, haven't they? <laughs> And these are all the uh, all the vans gassing it, as you can see over there, gassing it to pick up people as they come down at the other end. This is Hatshepsut Temple, and these are all. This town over here had people living in it, but they found that the town was above tombs. And so they moved people out of this town and gave them government housing instead. Don't go outside the land. Okay. Yeah. With the phones and the camera, please. Bit of a crash. Don't take it. That way. That way. Oh, uh, we crash landed. <laughs> Is they're not supposed to be on their side. They're not supposed to be on their side when they when they're down at their bottom. So we touched right over by that bank, didn't we? Yeah. So we dragged out. We were dragged about 50 meters. We bounced three, we bounced or, four three or four times. It was actually quite scary. It's not a bounce. It's a kind My of crash. My are going. Yeah, <laughs> I was holding on to Amy so tight, being like. It's okay, you're okay. So cool. But you must have been quite cozy in there. Well, I had to kind of, my, like, my head hit the thing. I like got the hold of the ropes and just really pulled us in together yeah. tight. I'm okay though, I think everyone's... We I don't think anyone's... over, I was with them quite snug. I don't think anyone's hurt. Yeah. But that was pretty... Uh, each God, crash my heart's was, going. Each crash was pretty intense. It was very intense. <laughs> it hit, you can see the rocks here. And you, and you didn't know, and we, we actually... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, good, good. You can see... So no, 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 thank you. We skipped. Yeah, no, I'm sure I'm showing them. You can see we bounced there. Then we bounced here. I mean, look at how hard we hit the ground. And then we skid. Yeah, yeah, look, we, we hit the ground here and then we skid all the way over there. Is this one of the roughest you've had? No, 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 no. I, am, uh, I have uh, three years uh, here. No, I mean, is this one of the bad, the worst? No, 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 no. no. It's forced to land because the, the wind is very hard. Very, very yeah. fast. Yeah, very fast, yeah. So this is unusual. It's unusual. This doesn't yeah, yeah, usually yeah, happen. Yeah, it's more safe. Think more safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He said during it it was a crash landing. And I was like, what kind of landing is this? He was like, crash landing. I'm just saying, this is why I don't leave the ground. To quote Windswind from Terry Pratchett novel, it's not heights I don't like, it's grounds. <laughs> it's coming down from the heights. Yeah, it's coming down from the heights. The heights are fa fine, it's the grounds. But that was absolutely insane. I've like, got a bit of a headache. <laughs> I've got a bit of a headache. We bounced from there to there to there. Mm. I should have recorded it, but he was like, no filming as we're coming into landing. I wouldn't be able to hold on. I wouldn't be able to hold on to. The noise coming out of the scraping is insane. 
So we're back uh, home now at the hotel, you know, guest house thing. Um, but yeah, that was really intense. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. could just tell we were coming in really fast. Mm -hmm. um, and then we hit the ground uh, really hard. It was like a small car crash, like it really hit, didn't it? Yeah, it was really hard. You have to hold the two ropes, so like this, bending over in the basket and with the back to the way we're going, so we were going this way. So you're going like backwards. The thing is divided into four, the basket, if we're looking down on top of it like that. Maybe I'll try and find an image online. And so I had Amy in the middle of me, and I had the Corby in the corner. So I'd hold on to the side one, and Amy, I just pulled us in really tight um, and tried to keep my butt uh, off the bottom of the uh, basket, because the butt, obviously the thing was going like this, like goosh, goosh, goosh along. I didn't want to like hit my ass, like actually like take the impact on my back. So I don't know, but I'm assuming that hot plate is like hundreds, oh, hundred, yeah. it must yeah. be hundreds of degrees yeah, hot. Yeah, so I'm imagining that if you fell out and hit that, especially with your face or something, you get like third degree burn. So mm. I was really conscious of like Amy tipping out of, above me or something. It's a heavy basket as well, yeah. it's not a light thing. Yeah. And there's gas cans in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, like... It was fun, but I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Um, I don't like the heights, it's just, it's just, yeah, I pretend I don't, but I don't like heights. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was quite peaceful, up until the landing, I really enjoyed it. They're not bothering at all. No. God almighty, looking over the edge of a basket, we were at 1,200 feet. No, we got up to 2,000, I think. Did we get to 2,000? Yeah. yeah. That's I don't know how much that is in metres, but it's pretty high. No, it doesn't bother me. Just uh, the crash landing was a bit exciting. Yeah, <laughs> and that's pretty mildly. Yeah, so... It was quite fun actually, it's quite fancy. We just used another one of our nine lives. We used one in Thailand, we went on a five hour um, drive and the cab driver basically fell asleep at the yeah. wheel and Grant had to wake him up. I had to clap like, and go like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. And I hope to see you again. Yeah, thank you very much, thank you. I hope to see you again, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we walk to the train station. This is what Luxor looks like during the day. It's not the tidiest, cleanest city in the world. Not the prettiest. Not the prettiest city in the world. But it does have some of the best monuments in the world. Yeah. Luxor Railway Station. We got to the ticket office and the guy said, just buy the ticket on the train and go to platform two. We got to platform two and it literally left within like a minute of us getting yeah. there. So I think he was just like, get on the train. Yeah. And, but we don't know who the conductor is. Typical Egypt, we've already had one person come up to us and try to sell us like a crumpled up ticket. <laughs> So, yeah, we're waiting for a guy that looks like he might be a conductor, I yeah, guess. Yeah, somewhat official. It's not busy and it um, has really good air con, so yeah. we're happy here. We've read online that it's like 120 EGP for uh, Egyptian pound for um, first class, which is still like $8 US dollars. This is about a three hour journey from uh, Luxor to Aswan. Well oh, isn't it? It's so hot. Aswan, 42 degrees. Wow. The ticket officer on the train got a thousand Egyptian out of us, 500 per person. I was like, look, that's not what it says online. It's like $20 AUD each, 10 GBP each. No, thank you, sir. Like 10 GBP each. Um, See, this is literally a bus driver driving next to me. Trying to get some money out of me, literally as I'm walking. <laughs> Talking to you. But anyway, um, yeah. Here we go, coming towards the Nile now. And now we're going on the boat down to Nubian village. Cross over.
What, what's his name? Fenty. Sorry? Uh, Fenty. Fenty. Yeah. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah, I didn't realise as soon as, until I got on the ferry that we were surrounded by no tourists and immediately got segregated based on our sex. I don't know if that was on camera. They were like, you can't sit there, sir. You can't sit there. So I had to sit with the men and then had to sit with the women. I kind of ignored the guy when I got on. He was like, sir, sir, sir. And I was like, all right, mate, I'm going to sit with my wife. Like, I hadn't clocked that the front of the boat was women and the back of the boat was men. I had a chat with them about how he walked across Jordan, immediately won some rapport with them with that. And uh, yeah. Interesting experience. I'm kind of glad though. We got on the wrong boat. We ended up on the rock. We ended up on the right side of the river, but we've got to go right the way around to get to our hotel. We've got to go. It's about a half an hour journey on the back of this. Um, I don't mind. We get to see. But we get to see a bit of. Uh, we get to see a bit of the town, and uh, it's an adventure. We got on a. We got on a very local boat. Um, <laughs> Went down to the local town, and this, this bloke only wants 250 uh, Egyptian, which is uh, how much is that? Fiver. That was quite an experience, but we survived. So, this is the uh, hotel we're in. It's only £30 a night. Yeah, £30 a night. Yeah, look at the mood lighting. <laughs> Pretty funky, but it's perfect. It's small, but um, it's got a pool, and that was kind of the main thing for us. And it's right on the Nile. So we'll have it, we'll show you now. Beautiful upright orange, sand lounges. They're currently filling up the pool. Look See, at this. Yeah, it's flooded because there's a staircase going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool that we can see Aswan Dam as well. And Aswan Dam, of course, is the dam that um, flooded that area, which meant that they had to move uh, Abu Simbel. Um, I think it's that dam. So yeah. He said there's a safe area to swim. He would show us where, but I mean, I've heard there's crocodiles in here. Yeah. It also looks like there's quite a lot of current in it. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Swimming in the Nile does sound like a bucket list sort of thing. But also there's meant to be crocodiles in here. I mean, there's an ancient bar for crocodiles in the Nile. I don't know how dangerous, <laughs> they don't, they're not like really? salt crocodiles. Yeah, I know. The ancient god, you've been paying attention. But, um, the, uh, yeah, 
I don't know how dangerous they are to compared to what we're used to in Australia. Well, maybe we can go for a dip tomorrow, just a quick little once in. Once in, once out. We can say we did it. But there could be a crocodile like right over that edge bit. No, there. you just don't know. That's the thing. They're so stealth. <laughs> They're so stealth. They sit perfectly still, don't they? I feel like this is the most earned beer ever after the day we've had. <laughs> So that was quite funny. I always miss the best things on the GoPro. The crash today in the balloon. Now I've missed this moment. So on here it says uh, Nubian meat tagine, which is a bit ambiguous. <laughs> and I was like, what kind of meat is it? He didn't understand me. He was like, meat, meat, you know meat. And I was like, what kind of meat? And then uh, I pulled up this image because he didn't speak very good English. <laughs> It's like farm animals for like kids, and then he points at goat. And I was like, yeah, I'll have it. <laughs> but remember, we don't usually eat red meat, but I think once you're in these countries, like you've got to try their meal, haven't you? You've got to try their food. Try it, yeah. Says the lady I'm having. I'm gonna pass. I just I'm craving a pasta. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a bite of your Nubian meat. My Nubian meat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what I was just gonna say now. You may have noticed when I was talking to him that we were having an aircon outside pointing at us. Now, hear me out here. I know that's like one of the worst things you can do for the environment. <laughs> like, we're literally cooling the earth right now. But, in my defense, the dam is over there. So, I surmise that they are using hydro for their electric. In which case, is this excusable behavior? Am I might make making excuses for myself. It is, is it 42 degrees Celsius? Yeah. So it is pretty damn hot, so you can excuse me a little bit for that as well. I've got here the, um, the, the goat, uh, and it's, I'm eating with a spoon because that's actually, sorry, the batteries are dying on this, I'll be quick. It's very similar to mutton, basically. First bite of goat. Thoughts? Mm. Not your favourite. Mm -hmm. It tastes like to me. It tastes like lamb, but like much tougher. No, so definitely like, not like that. The thing I don't like about goat's cheese. I, I like goat's cheese, but sometimes I feel like goat tastes a little bit like goat smell. Like my uncle has a farm and he had goats, and they smell like goat's cheese. And so next time you have goat's cheese, it kind of puts you off a little bit. But uh, this is lovely. Yeah. We are now just That's relaxing, so having a beer, looking over the Nile. So viewers, we were just uh, lying in bed in two, two single beds, again, I don't know why, it seems to always be the case. And we hear the defogger go off, the mosquito defogger that they're using to get rid of the mosquitoes. And I rush over to the door and start po poking the towel, two towels, one on the top, one on the bottom to stop the smoke coming in. But instead it just comes all off the side, like it all comes out the side of the door instead. Like quickly, like just chucked on some clothes and just pegged it across the lawn. Um, to the restaurant, where there was like two couples having dinner. Um, they didn't give us any warning, didn't tell us they were doing this. Like, it came in and plumes of smoke, didn't it, Amy? Mm -hmm. And like, all day I've been complaining to you that I never managed to capture the kind of the key moments <laughs> on film. But this time I actually did manage to capture something on film, and I'll let the footage of the talking for you. It just would happen after everything else that's happened today. But um, I mean, I, lo I just love the fact that it burst into flames. I heard that like other people, I didn't see the initial like explosion. I just heard the other people in front of me go, whoa, <laughs> turned around. As you can see in the video, it's on fire. The one thing I asked from these hotels is to not poison us. The other, the other ones poisoned us with food and now we've been uh, gassed. I love the adventure and I'm looking forward to continuing it with you all and sharing it with you all, but if we could have just like a little bit less adventure per day, that would be much more enjoyable for me and Amy. <laughs> but jokes aside, yeah, awesome day. Oh my god, there's a huge scorpion in here. Oh, what the f*** do I do? This is one hell of a 3.30 a.m. Oh, I don't want to get close. He's actually one okay. of the dangerous ones. You gotta get close. 
Like and subscribe. <laughs>